Uh, so we had to rip the carpet out, like completely out because uh, underneath it was starting to grow some like darkish greenish mold, nasty. And uh, that's what's happening now. So carpet's ripped out. So no carpet back here. Um, even underneath the carpet, like under the seats and stuff, There's some nice little lake back here. I don't know how long that's been collecting, but that is, it kind of feels a little slimy. Oh, wait, rinse that out, that's gross. Getting this seat out, the other seat's out already. And I've got it kind of turned upside down so I can see underneath, make sure I get everything cleaned out of there. But uh, I only had one plug over there. looks like we got one right here. But yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Tools going here so I can pop these out and clean under here too because it really needs it. So far, it's not really looking like there's anything to be concerned with under the seats. So thankful for that. Uh, but the console's got to come out, so it's just it's all up under there. Somehow, I feel kind of itchy working on this so for some reason. <laughs> I gotta take out these bolts too so I can flip this up, which I don't know why Jeep just didn't make these where they could flip up, but stuff, get all this carpet out back here. Yeah, I'm gonna let these puppies bake in the sun like that just in case there's anything in there to dry it out and <laughs> drive it around like that and sit down on the floor. Oh. Alright, so something like that. Okay, we got another one right there. Alright. That's pretty self explanatory, it looks like, so we'll get it figured out. I had to unplug those two things uh, for the window switches, the lights, the USB port, uh, power outlet right there, all that cool stuff. That sticker's pretty cool. It says 2013 10 console with USB power window, 745 50 AM. So I guess that's when it went down the line. It was disgusting, man. It's so gross. We had to just disconnect as well. I'm gonna put that out of the way. I don't even know if I should try and vacuum that out first. I scrubbed inside of these panels, as you can see, pretty clean. Uh, definitely got a scuff and paint over that rust. Gonna do that with some white spray paint for sure. Everything is out. Got it all cleaned up. So all that's really left is like the rust spots. So this side's clean anyways. I've not been able to do the passenger side. Get a leaf blower and air dry this really well blow as much water out as we can um definitely a big difference but the doors are not going back on so we're gonna ride around let it air out um for today and tomorrow oh man never thought it would be done but here 
But yeah, guys, check it out, man. Like it is done this here. Some kind of like, I don't even know, man. It's like potato wedges, like soggy potato wedges, like stuck up in there, but it looked like foam. But at the same time, it looked really gross. So um, yeah, and like all this was gunked up. Like, I mean, there's like that much of a layer of, um, that's for the seat. And yeah, I'm gonna pop these back in and I'm gonna blow dry it out real quick. Got to make it to dinner. I really like got under there because I mean it was like all under there on the surface. So this is what's left. I kind of meant like underneath this piece was that's all right there. So, but I'm um, gonna clean out all this junk. Pretty much all we gotta do is just like the outside. comes with the it is powder coated so that's sweet uh comes with the um the vacuum pump relocate which is sweet all right guys so we are going to get the hard top so it is the same hard top that has the uh damage on the uh middle section so we just figured we might go ahead and just risk it give it a shot hopefully it all works out to uh, Target now because we are about to pick up a uh, poison spider tramp stamp from our friend Taylor that bought the gladiator. Here's the hardtop guys. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> See, uh, it's in really good shape just other than the damage on the passenger side. It's gonna look a lot better. So get that tag back there. Yeah, I'll show you the damage real quick right here. So that's it. Uh, on the way home from the beach. Oh, you cracked that one? Yeah. She oh, that's it. right. Yeah. I think she did that one for $1.50. Because... Price is not going up. Yeah. But... Marcus is not more than $200. Oh, he read that one for $1.200. He said it was a, uh... Wear item. It was number one. They were, they were pretty rude to me, like... That sucks. I hate that, dude. Yeah. And he had the same issue. It was like... It was like nine months in for him. There you go, Smokey. Here's the bumper. Get the bumper in the garage, get it ready. Um, got a long week ahead of us, so. Mm -hmm. 